Welcome back to Smile Nods Tech Talk, y'all. Today I'm gonna show you how to remove a front grill off of a 2016 Honda HRV. So uh, leave any comments down below. Uh, this is actually my wife's car, so she had an accident with a uh, hitting a bird at 65 miles an hour. So uh, that's why we're gonna do this. Also, in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, this new grill that I just got from eBay. So um, I'll post it in a link down below and you guys can just check this out. Uh, if you like it, buy it. I did, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but uh, let's get aggressive and let's get this going. You guys stay tuned. All right, if you guys like this, like, subscribe and stay tuned. All right, y'all. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show you the damage here first. Okay. I really uh, busted up the grill pretty bad. Good thing the uh, radiator um, turned out to be okay. But it definitely, you know, big crack in the grill and everything here. So usually Honda, you know, um, gives you all these parts because uh, some of the stuff is like you know snapped on there and some of that stuff is screwed on there but yeah the license plate holder is gone that used to be like right there um but uh, the you see the honda emblem is gone too so we're gonna replace that whole thing that requires taking off this bumper here so i'm gonna have to take off this whole bumper and act as the back of this and then uh start taking the grill off um but first i want to kind of show you this new grill that i got from ebay this is the one i'm doing this plastic as you can tell it's a little different they try to match the bottom grill here see right here these are kind of like the bottom because usually it's like this but you know they're kind of matching that so that's pretty cool that's pretty much why they call it the aggressive grill thing I see but here is what that looks like I'm gonna give you the screw mount for your license plate. Because the license plate holder, it's uh, pretty much embedded with the grill, so it's not separate like the Honda is. Here is the where you put the Honda emblem, and this is the Honda emblem they give you. So. And it's that adhesive in the back and and it has the, the part that you you know that you put onto the grill there so that'd be kind of nice and then they also give you this extra piece um, it might be an extension piece to install the grill on top here so but everything came pretty like a shiny black glossy so that's gonna look kind of nice. Uh, good deal there. I think it was like um, 110 bucks or something like that on eBay. Again, I'll put I'll post it in the link down below so you guys can check that out. But yeah, uh, so I'm ready to do this, you guys. So here we go. So basically, you're gonna have to take off the bumper. You gotta remove this, all these here, right there, and then when you get down to the rear wheel, you're gonna have to start taking some screws off here. Let me show you some better lighting. Yeah, 
that screw there and then I start taking that plastic piece off of there and then you start working away there and then you need to get like down under here and then I gotta take all, all that stuff out of there too so it's uh not bad uh, it's got to get a nice uh, small flat headed screwdriver which I'm going to use here so I got a bunch of selections here as you can see what I'm going to work with right now so basically you start popping these off like that and you start popping them off like that and then just put them in a good secure spot all right and then I'm gonna do that to the rest of them yeah, make sure you, now these are plastic parts make sure you're working in a kind of like warm climate uh, or else these uh, parts will break off and that's not good Alright, so again we just gotta keep taking these off. Alright you guys, so once I take these off, I'll let you guys uh, see what, what I gotta do next, so stay tuned. And then I also removed these here. Uh, there's uh, three of them. This one the bear was already popped off, so. I don't know, that was a pretty big hit from the bird, so. Okay. <laughs> and then, you take that piece off. And then now, you pretty much got this pretty loose here. And that's already pretty much part of the grill. However, you still got to take off the bumper. So, all right. All right, for the next ones, we got to do this one here and the one on top of here. So, um, first off, you got to turn your wheel. Um, I turn it towards the uh, left and uh, so you can get at the screw, okay? This is the Phillips. Go ahead and start turning that. And then you got this one here. Go. So that's off. So that was uh, pretty much what you gotta do on this side here. And now we gotta tackle the other side, pretty much is the same thing. And then we go underneath the car. So, all right guys, stay tuned. All right guys, so we got about 12 of these underneath the, uh, the bumper here. All these clips got to come off and there's 12 of these so there's even some uh, on the far end I already took one off there and there's one there so pretty much right along this here you see three there so uh, pretty much you can see all that there so it's uh, pretty much all Pretty much what holds this plastic here. So not a lot of them. Just gotta just uh, get under here and just take them off. They're pretty easy to take off, so not so bad. All right, guys. All right, guys. So pretty much, I got one of these needle nose, so I can stick in there 
gonna take these out because the bottom ones are all covered with uh, sand and stuff so it gets really sticky to take those out with just a flathead so just get yourself uh, some needle nose uh, like this here and that actually just goes in between there and it's uh, kind of prime off so uh, so so far so good but you know this is it this is a 2016 so to be expected all right oh so there's uh three more over here so you gotta take those off too so that was uh 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 total so all right just wanted to show you that all right guys so pretty much what i've been doing here is to take off the side molding here um they're held on by these clips here and they just pretty much since you took off that screw back here, now this is actually, you can take off this with some clips, and then you get to right here, I took off a screw, and then, um, you have to push up on the bumper so you can take it off from these clips here because it's like a hook as you can see here it's kind of like a hook that goes into those slots there so you got to push up and then unmount it be careful because the bumper may crack and you don't want that so yeah so it's almost off here we're getting there so we're working okay here we go all right so basically you stick a little flat head in here pop that off here the screw right there and then uh, you have to push up on this to take it off these clips here and then that's as much as you want to go with this side here just uh, then the screw right here that screw um, now gotta push 
what it looks like when you completely take it off so you kind of see you have to kind of unclip it there's some screws right here okay so we'll just have to take off these screws here and then that should just come right off. Okay. Okay, so I remove that bolt. That screw, and I'm going to remove this screw. It. That bird did some damage. So. Yep. Let's see what that looks like there without it. Everything looks like it's okay. So let's put this grill on, guys. All right, time to install the new grill. So basically, what you got to do is to get these clips in here first okay and that's the main goal right now is to try to fall on, into these clips once those clips are all wrapped in there then you can fold it back up and then you put the bumper back on all right, so I got everything uh, put on. It was uh, pretty easy. I just had to clip all those little clips that are around there and screw it in there and screw it in inside there. And then uh, it didn't look like these holes are lining up pretty good. So it's a pretty good fitment for being eBay, you guys. So not a bad look. And then I was going to put the H on and you know just uh, keep popping these things in there and it uh, sits pretty flush not bad since I put everything on there it sit really nice so yeah with the grill and and now with the lower grill it actually matches so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy about this you guys so there I still got to do this panel here but I was looking at this H here and uh you know, they, they give me this Honda symbol emblem and they actually uh, thought about actually a good thing here. They got a sticky um, on there, so it's like a sticker. Um, so basically you just put those in the, these little prongs in here. So those little two little dots there, that's where those go. So just wanted to show you guys that. So just a good tip that um, these holes here were kind of covered. So I just poked them with something and I made the holes bigger. So that way these don't crack. I know it has the adhesive, but it would just be better to mount them. So yeah, put that there and it should just slide right in. Oh. 
And that's it. Looking cool. All right. So that was it. I finished installing everything. Just wanted to wanted to show you what this looks like here. It's nice and flushed. You know. This is the, the final results of the grill here. Okay. So yeah. It's gonna turn out to be real nice. The wife is happy. All right guys, well that concludes this uh, front grill installation. I hope you guys found this uh, very helpful. If you do, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, I'll be putting out more videos as I keep working on different cars. Um, so that was pretty much the installation of this uh, 2016 Honda HRV front grill. So um, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, have a good day.